Hello everybody, welcome back to Classics Are Better. I'm Travis and this is part three of my LS Swap series for my 66 C10 I call Bandit. Basically the plan for today is to get the 5.3 and 4L60E out of this 03 Suburban Donor and into my 66 C10. Let's get after it. All right, y'all, so as I was saying, the plan for today is getting this old 5.3 LS and the 4L60E out of this 03 Suburban and getting it into my 66 C10. Um, basically, when you're looking for a donor too, get something crappy as possible that still runs good. So you can see on this, the paint is horrendous. It's got dents and scratches and all kinds of stuff like that. But we don't care about that stuff, y'all. All we care about is the powertrain and what's left over on it that I can sell. Okay, so now is the fun part. I actually have to get to work on this thing. Um, it's gonna be pretty much like part one was, but I gotta unhook everything connected to that motor in the Suburban. So exhaust, drive shaft, radiator, um, you know, wiring, all that kind of good stuff. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the front of the Suburban off best I can, like I did here on the 66. It just made it so much easier by myself getting the motor in and out. Um, I do have a guy, hopefully, coming to buy the old small block today out of this thing. And that way I can put that money towards goodies, making that LS just a little bit better. So let's get after it. Hey, so it's the next day. I lucked out. It is gorgeous outside today. So I'm going to start doing stuff like the antifreeze, try and get the radiator out, stuff like that, see how far I can get. So day two went pretty darn well. I got most of the front of the burb completely ripped off of here. So tomorrow I'll come back out and get back after it again. I'm starting a little bit later than I had wanted to, but I figured maybe I can make a little progress before the sun goes down. Hey, did all right for half hour of work got the pcm out got the wiper fluid reservoir out got the rest of the ac lines disconnected it's on its way all right y'all so i finally got a saturday off of work time to see how far i can tear into this thing today Just heads up, a lot more power steering fluid is gonna come out than you'd probably anticipate, so make sure you have some kind of pan or collector for it. So making progress, got most of the wiring harness and sensors unhooked. Last thing I need to do is free the last of the cables from the transmission, unhook the gear selector, and take the drive shaft off. We're good to go.
totally banging on this thing. Uh, next thing up is going to be getting all the manifold and stuff off. There's like five bolts going down each side. So I need to get that all zipped off, get this pulled off so I can hook my chains up. Hopefully start getting this thing up out of here. I'm kind of spent for today and it's about dinner time. So I'm going to go inside and come back out in the morning. We'll yank this thing out. Let's get this motor out of here. All right, y'all, so I am pumped up. It is out. That took a lot of work, and I wanna give a big shout out and thank you to my neighbor, Kyle. He came over and helped me wrangle this thing out here at the very end. Thanks, Kyle, I appreciate it. Next thing on this is gonna be going through here, taking off the fan, uh, doing some stuff with the plugs, etc. A Couple little light mods and getting it cleaned up, nothing too major, and then it is time to get it in old Bandit. All right, so back at it, y'all. Now that the motor's out, it is a lot easier to kind of diagnose and uh, kind of do what I need to do before I get it in the truck. Um, one of the things I need to figure out I didn't really know about is trying to figure out where the leak is coming from back here. So I just need to get this whole thing cleaned up. You can see how grimy it is below all the coil packs and stuff. So I'm going to get that all taken off and cleaned up. I don't know if I'm going to paint it or not. It's like I feel like I should because everything's off and it'd be easy to. It's also a huge pain in the butt, so I don't know, but I'm going to start going through all this kind of stuff, getting the fan off, I'm going to try and get these uh, exhaust manifolds off. It cleaned up okay. Could it be a little bit better? Sure, but it's a whole lot better than it was. And I don't think I'm gonna paint the motor. That's just a little too much, but I do think I might take off the uh, valve covers and paint them. We'll see how that goes. All right, so got all the spark plugs out and honestly, y'all, they don't look too bad. So I'm still gonna replace them but I'm happy that there's no signs of, uh, you know, internal issues that are blatant right now. So back to making some progress, getting this LS ready. Right now I'm gonna try and get these exhaust manifolds off. The bolts are notorious for breaking off. So I'm gonna try a couple uh, tricks that I know to get these things off. Wish me luck. And I do have another video on those tricks and tips uh, if you wanna check it out up here above. Check it out with the valve cover off. You can see inside of mine is pretty darn mint. I am very pleased. So this thing's got 197,000 miles on it. So here's before, after. Okay, so we have hit some good news, y'all. I got the valley cover off without any kind of big issues. And check out the inside of this motor. 
It is so clean. It looks brand spanking new in there. All right, so today is finally the day, y'all. Time to get this LS in my C10. So technically, I could have just taken it straight out of the Suburban and put it in the truck, and it should have ran because it ran just fine in the Suburban. But I went ahead and freshened everything up while it was out and sitting on the floor. So in all, besides getting the manifolds off and the spark plugs out so I could put on headers and new MSD stuff, um, I painted the valve covers, put new gaskets on here. I got a new uh, valley cover gasket, new knock sensors, new knock sensor wiring harness. I did an AC delete. I switched out the old motor mounts for these dirty dingo mounts. New neutral safety switch, um, new cam sensor, new oil pressure sensor, new uh, tail shaft bushing, seal, and um, gasket on this side. So just lots of stuff to try and get this thing that much better so I could do it on the floor instead of in the truck. With that said, let's get in the truck. Okay, so major progress guys. The LS is inside Bandit. Check it out. So I got it in. It's bolted up on the motor mounts, which turned out to be awesome. I used the uh, Dirty Dingo slider mounts. And check this out, y'all. I have seven inches right here between the back of the block and the firewall. So that is very nice. Uh, I am pumped that it gave me that much room to wiggle. So I figured that it would only have like two or three inches and I'd bump it back to, you know, within an inch, but that is plenty of room for me to hook all this kind of stuff back up here on the end and then I'll just scoot it back a little bit. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Please hit that like and subscribe if you can. It totally helps me out. But get out there, get wrenching on your old projects, my friends. Until next time, have a good one.